Hi, Rory Singh here from the PowerhouseMarketer.com. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, the video I did yesterday, Cash FX Group. Uh, apparently I got it wrong. Um, yesterday, Cash FX Group, fraud warnings, North Bay. <laughs> North Bay. <laughs> North Bay is a city up north in Canada. Okay. Been a long day. Anyways, let me start that over. Cash FX Group, fraud warnings. Yesterday I did a video and uh, I said Norway, Bahamas, Saskatchewan. Uh, BC, Quebec, and Panama. So that was like six fraud warnings. And then one of my viewers said, no, nah, Rory, you got it wrong. It's actually 14, okay? Um, so, so far, he said six territories in Canada. Six provinces is, is what he means. Um, Saskatchewan, BC, Quebec, that's three. Manitoba, New Brunswick. I don't know, is there another province that I'm missing that has a fraud warning against Cash FX? Maybe. Um, let me ask this gentleman, Harry, if you watch this video, can you fill me in and even provide some links? I'm going to share what I found, anyways, based on your new information. Thank you very much for sharing this information. Um, Anyways, I got proof about Manitoba, New Brunswick, UK, New Jersey. I think UK's old news. We'll get into that anyways. Anyways, guys, if this is your first time on this channel, find the big red subscribe button and even click on the bell notification icon. That way, every single time I go live with helpful content that can help you make money as well as save you money, you'll be one of the very first people to get access to that freshly created content. Uh, also, if you're looking for a powerful affiliate marketing educational platform that can teach you how to do affiliate marketing right, you can get access to a very lucrative opportunity. My number one recommended platform, uh, first link underneath this video in the description. I'm also going to ask you guys to like this video and share this video so that these type of videos will reach more people and help more people. Okay, so please like and share this video. Okay, so Cash FX Group, yesterday what I was talking about um six fraud warnings okay uh one of my viewers said no it's actually 14 anyways um i found uh verification on one two three four more so that's 10 so hopefully harry comes back and tells me uh the other four that i'm missing out on okay um anyways if he doesn't i'll i'll look into it i'll spend some more time doing some more due diligence and research for you guys but before we get into the fraud warnings against cash effects, meaning that uh, security regulators in Manitoba, New Brunswick, United Kingdom, and the country of Jersey um, has issued against the company of cash FX group saying that they are an illegal fraudulent investment opportunity and anyone getting caught promoting in these four territories that I'm talking about uh, can face investigation, charges, possible conviction, uh, possible jail time, and huge fines, okay? Um, any securities offering, meaning any passive investment opportunity, has to be registered by the government in every single place that anyone decides to invest or promote it, okay? Now, Cash FX Group is not registered anywhere in the world uh, to offer anyone a passive ROI. Yesterday, I was also talking about their fake executive uh, trading team, which turned out to be construction workers and taxi cab and limo drivers. Okay, um, so a lot of these deals here. All kinds of shenanigans, shenanigans, right? I believe that's an Irish word. Shenanigans is happening here. Anyways, we don't want to get into too much of the shenanigans. I know some of you guys love shenanigans, but, you know, if you're going to spend your time with shenanigans, it has to serve you and not work against you. You know, seeing that I just said that, I want to go back to Barack's. Um... I noticed there were some bigwig, heavy hitter marketers pumping Barracks and Wiseling, but especially Barracks 
And there's another one, um, it didn't scam out, as far as I understand. They're not doing so well. It's called Daisy AI. Okay. Um, comment left on my channel on one of my videos saying, Hey, Rory, um, Barax and Daisy AI and these other uh, schemes that you are calling scams and Ponzi's got to be legitimate because I know some heavy hitters and they're promoting it. And they have built their reputations really strong. They have a lot of credibility, a lot of influence. There's no way that they would be playing around with their reputation. And what I got to say, especially with Brax and Daisy and Weisling, they don't care about their reputation, guys. Some of these guys think that, you know, they've been making money for so long that they can keep making it. They believe that the law of karma only exists in a country full of brown people called India. And if you go to India, most of the Indians don't believe in karma either until it happens to them, right? Kind of crazy stuff. We're living in a crazy world or maybe a world filled with crazy people. You know, it all depends on how you look at things, okay? So don't always listen to your leader because some of them think that they're invincible like the Titanic, but there she lays at the bottom of the North Atlantic. Just, um, I believe it's not far from Newfoundland, guys. Newfoundland. Titanic creators, White Star Line said, She's unsinkable. God himself could not sink that ship. And lo and behold, there she lies. So nothing is unsinkable. Okay. Anyways, here we go. Manitobians. <laughs> Manitoba, baby. Cost of living is cheaper than Ontario where I live. But anyway, uh, Canada M M MSC says cash effects not authorized to target Manitobans. Okay. So illegal according to the website here. Okay. Uh, so fraud warning there. And here's another one. In New Brunswick. Come on, guys. East Coasters. East Coasters. How could you guys be messing with the East Coasters? I'm surprised there's no fraud warning yet with the Newfies. Maybe there is. Right? I, I got some good friends who are from Newfoundland. Right? We, they call themselves Newfies. But, uh, and proudly. Um, did you guys get in trouble there too? And, and it's just not on Google? If I'm missing some stuff, guys, please leave me some information in the comments below but based on my findings here because of one of my viewers so manitoba i didn't i didn't uh, talk about yesterday um uh, new brunswick the uk did i make a video i don't think so about that i didn't mention it in yesterday's and jersey the country of jersey I heard of Jersey and I was thinking like New Jersey, but no, it's actually Jersey, Jersey Financial Services Commission, fraud warning against, is warning Islanders to be extra vigilant after reports that a business called Cash FX may be targeting residents. The JFSC is concerned that Cash FX may be offering financial services and products in the island the country is an island, guys, without holding a license to do so. Our regulators, including the UK Financial Conduct Authority, that's these guys over here, have also issued alerts about cash effects. The JFSC is reminding islanders that financial services firms conducting businesses... Anyway, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, you know, guys, um, are there more videos here... Anyway, the affiliates of Cash Effects are going to come and say stuff like, Rory, you do not know what you're talking about. You're making up stuff about our loving company. It's legit. It's legal. You, it didn't happen in Manitoba, right? No fraud warning in New Brunswick. No fraud warning in the UK, Rory. What the hell are you talking about? And in Jersey, you're just making that up. You're just speculating. You're just speculating. You're making stuff up up okay guys that's what they're gonna say they're gonna say cash effects is here forever yesterday i noticed they didn't 
on their website. They took off their executive team, the pitchers, because people started finding out that the team of traders that they were claiming, they even had live events and they had people making videos on YouTube and getting excited and saying, look at the wall with all the graphs and bars and such. And I looked at all that stuff, you know, me not being an academic type of person, I looked at that wall and just using some common sense, I said half those guys looking at these charts and bars and graphs don't have a clue what the hell they mean. And I'm like, that's bloody smoke and mirror show. It's just fooling people. If you could actually generate the amount of unsustainable ROI that cash effects actually promises, why the heck would you need random strangers online? And why would you need network marketers? I got nothing against network marketing, legitimate network marketing like Amway, right? Amway is a great company. Um, if, if I didn't have the internet in front of me and I didn't know what I know, and I didn't have any skill online, how to generate traffic, put myself out there, uh, create credibility uh, and all that stuff, how to get results monetarily. Like you guys need to learn if you really want to make money online, right? If I didn't partner up with a legitimate training platform that taught me how to do all this stuff, I would actually roll up my sleeves and join Amway. At least Amway, you know, you can sell people all kinds of products, household products that people actually use and need every single day, or maybe even Melaleuca, right? Melaleuca, uh, I would sell their products, their vitamins, lotions, potions, and pills. My mom um, gives me vitamins from Melaleuca. She buys them, she gives them to me, and I use them, and I feel awesome, right? They're great, great products. That's what I would do if it wasn't for the internet, because at least I know Six months from now, Melaleuca is going to be around. You know, a year from now, God willing, Amway is going to be around, right? Those are the companies that I, if I want to get into MLM, that those are legitimate companies. I would get into those. Okay, so I'm going to close off with, with these thoughts for you guys. Hopefully, it makes some sense to you. Um, there's no push button system that you can just click even my system. You have to roll up your sleeves, go through the training and actually implement what we teach you, how to scale your business, how to build your business, how to build your name, how to brand yourself, how to create, you know, title stuff, how to create content. And if you don't want to do none of that stuff, we can even teach you how to do paid advertising guys. So these are the things that a true marketer would need to learn if they want to make money and write their own ticket for the rest of their lives. Lastly, before I go, I want to leave you on one thought. The majority of the marketplace here, if you guys are hearing scratches, it's my dog upstairs um, giving me a hard time. Uh, doesn't want to eat all of his dinner and he wants to come down into the basement. That's where I have my home office set up here. Um, so he's scratching. If you hear scratches, that's 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 my uh, my dog. He's usually under my desk as I do these reviews. You can hear clippity clop. I want to leave you on one thought, and the one thought is most of you guys, you know, the target market out there, people who are taking out their credit card and joining stuff. A lot of you guys are asking for instant gratification, but what if I told you that if you got it? You would reject it. Does that make any sense? Part of your mind, the unconscious mind, in the great majority of people, you want to earn it. And if you don't earn something, you ever heard of people winning the lottery and then the next year or in the next next two or three years they're broke. They won ten million. It happens all the time. They're not ready for that type of energy coming into their life money is energy right everything is energy so push button system that actually gave you what you wanted you'd probably sabotage yourself wouldn't that happen so in truth if something was put into your hands a big bag of money fell on your lap 
you probably sabotage it. That's my dog. Rico! Cut it out! So that's something to think about. If you really want to change your life, you got to earn it. And if you don't earn it, you're going to sabotage yourself. If you're like the majority of people, including myself, we all have that in us. There are, you know, an exception to the rule, maybe a 0.5% of the population who are actually true sociopaths, and that would not apply to them. Some people are going to say, oh my, I'm a sociopath, I'm a gangster. No. <laughs> Deep down at the unconscious depth of yourself, have you even looked? That's something to think.